Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4, A Story Wealth. Hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Today, uh, we, we've made a decision, the community's made a decision. They have voted, you guys have voted, um, for a leader for this colony or this settlement. Uh, and that is going to be Old Paul. So, <laughs> Old Paul just squeaked out the win here. Um, but I have some... Th th Good things. Uh, we can always change them uh, or some good information. We can always change the leader later on. So if we don't like the individual um, that we choose, we can always change them at a later date. So, uh, but we're going to go with old Paul. You guys selected old Paul. Also, I asked you guys about uh, Heather having that nuke <laughs> grenade. And uh, I've got a lot of um, unsure, but let's do it type of thing so we're gonna keep heather with it you guys let me know um if you didn't respond to me in the last episode what you guys think about having the nuka grenade with heather um so far she's actually been doing a way better than eden did <laughs> eden wouldn't really care if i was in line of sight or in the blast radius radius of where she was throwing uh any kind of uh <laughs> explosive so uh, i think we're gonna try it out if we start dying from her and having to be reset a lot uh we probably will remove it from her uh because it's just it'll get annoying but other than that um let's get into the episode we're gonna go and speak with paul here uh we do need to sleep so at some point in time if we can find a bed we're gonna sleep we do need to eat and drink as well so let's go ahead and give old paul <coughs> the settlement your pick have you i have i've made my choice i'm all ears who'd you go with I went with you, old Paul. How about you? Aha! This old ghost still got some life left in him after all. Sweet. Okay. Um, where should old Paul and their companions move into? Wait, what? Oh, so I picked the... Oh. I was thinking it was going to be wherever these guys were at. <laughs> Uh, why don't we go send them to Starlight Drive-In? I think that would be actually pretty cool. We haven't set that up yet, but we should, we should do that. I think that would be probably the best location. Let's do it. Every settlement can be assigned a leader. This person acts as a mayor of the town. The personality and backstory can have various effects on the settlement. Very cool. City leaders, to assign leaders in the future, build a city planner's desk for the Sim Settlement 2 furniture category, or from, sorry. Next, assign a settler to it, or you can active or activate the, main, uh, the, sorry, the manage city option on the city planner's desk and choose assign city leaders to see the list of people with especially powerful benefits. Good to know. All right, Old Paul is now in charge of the Starlight Drive-In. I wonder how everybody feels about that. Excuse me. Dodge? Uh, you made up your mind? Yeah, I did. I made my choice already. I made my choice. Oh? Who'd you pick? I picked Old Paul. <laughs> he left. Like, I can't even talk about it anymore. Okay, so that's just going to be an option. Um, probably from like now on. Oh, I heard a fusion core going on back here. I'll take that. Stingwing. Uh, we'll take everything because I think what we should probably do is head over to Starlight and take a bunch of junk with us. Clean all that up. Oh, we got a another card here. Sweet. I wish there was an option to, like, pick all. So there's not. Or take all, I should say. Okay, so. What are we doing now? Um, <laughs> I have no clue. Who can ASAM? Meet old Paul and the people in Starlight Drive-In. Okay, so we gotta go to... Drive-In. Now, where do we have the Drive-In? Is it right next to where we're at? It's north. Northeast. Okay. We'll head on over there. We'll meet old Paul. 
Uh, maybe we'll build a bed as well. It's like some of them already started off or are faster walkers. Well, wow, they actually have quite a few people in their group. Hey. Can we talk to anybody? No, <laughs> they have no interest in talking to me. I just need to trade gear with you. Sure. Wait, trade gear? No, I don't want to trade new gear. All right, let's head this way. Did we find anything kind of interesting along the way? It looks like we didn't um, do anything at Ten Pine Bluffs uh, last episode, and things happened up there, and I did. <laughs> you should probably go check them out at some point in time, repair things. I've got your back. Nuke a grenade them. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Heather, I, you just took a shot. Am I shooting it? Okay. Buckle up. We've got radiation. Yeah, I know. You made it. <laughs> oh, there's there's only a little piece left. Oh, Heather, Heather, Heather. At least you didn't throw it at me. That's a good thing. Now, technically, in settlements, can people can die, right? So, is it possible that if like we had raiders and she threw a, a grenade into the mix, would it kill my settlers? So I would not be happy about that. Not happy at all. Okay, this is kind of familiar ground. We've been through this area. Ooh. Ooh, have we grabbed that? I don't know if we have. What's in the cooler? Two Nuka Colas. Yeah, we'll take those. Nice refreshing drinks. That should take care of you. Just take that. Oh, the dock. That's right. The swelling should go down in a week or so. Sure thing, Doc. Can we get into the back of these? I think we need a key to, to open them. Locks or, really strong. Or master. We need to go to their warehouse at some point in time. I think we have... We can grab the key there. A little resting place. <laughs> Just really one straw. Um, all right. Inventory, junk, scrap. We'll drop that. We don't, we can't pick up anything else. I don't know what I have on me that would not allow me to carry anything, but. Now, I have... Um, someone mentioned, um, I can't remember who in the comments, this was quite a few episodes ago, that there is an option to, oh god, that's radioactive, that's not good, that's not good, to allow for us to, um, basically use blueprints for cities, uh, or towns, and I really kind of want to try that out. No, this was pointing. Where was that pointing? <laughs> um, here for some reason. Why? It just says meat. Meat Paul. Uh, while we're waiting here, why don't we go ahead and sleep? We need to sleep. We need to eat. Uh, we might as well sleep and then eat. And I think there's a bed up here that we can... On the... Oh, it's on the ground. <laughs> Shoot. They're going to put me over the weight limit. It is. Uh, and I think hey, um, Yuri is probably overloaded as well. No, she's not. Okay, we'll give her, give her some stuff. Uh, why don't we just build a bed? Uh, I think we have the materials for it. No, we probably don't. Let's see. Do we? No. Steel... We can get a few things. Cloth. 
Um, need a bunch of rubble around here. That will give us cloth. I wonder if I can get rid of the bag of bones up here. I can. Uh, what about this? Okay, that gives a bunch of cloth. And then we'll just scrap that as well. Okay, I need one more cloth. Uh, what about this? Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I think I'll just... This is just going to be temporary. Just so that we can sleep. Uh, right. We'll place it right into here. Perfect. And then we can get a full day sleep. And then they should all be caught up here by the time we get they get here. And we can talk. All right. Well rested. Let's go ahead and eat. What do we have here? Grilled rad stag. No, we don't want that. Mutton chops. Still peckish. Ribeye steak, properly fed. Oh, no! Well, that helped out with our, <laughs> our water situation. Um, not food. Why do I keep on clicking on food? Drinks. Purified water, that should properly hydrate us. Bada bing, bada boom, we are golden. Oh, do I hear the Brahmin? Oh, they're here! They just made it, I think. Okay, let's go meet old Paul. I think he's probably going to be in here. Yes, he is. With everybody else. Okie dokie. Let's Whoa. get this show on the road. Grab your tools and let's hop to it, you layabouts. Let's get you a new home built. All right. Once a settler has a leader, they can start building on their own. Whoa. On their own. They'll start by scrapping everything in the settlement and beginning building anew. You can always start later by selecting a city plan from the desk. Yes, tear it all down. Yeah, let's let let them build this out. Oh, that this is gonna be cool. Okay, wait for the settlers to complete construction. Whoa! Do they have enough scrap? I'm actually thinking. I'm kind of regretting maybe doing this here. Because this is kind of like the biggest plot to kind of, you know, play with in terms of building. Well, maybe not. Maybe this is going to be great. Wow, look at this. This is like going to turn into like a city, isn't it? <laughs> like a miniature city. I love this this overview shot of the, the building up of everything. I mean, I rather like them building their own stuff. I mean, maybe having like one or two settlements that you actually go ahead and build. Okay. Well, it's not built all the way up. <laughs> I thought it was going to get completely built. Maybe it's going to take some time. Okay. Let's um maybe go talk to old Paul. Oh, he's drinking drinking some coffee? Hey. You know these ASAMs really are a wonder. Commonwealth's got a bright future ahead, no doubt about it. Now, don't you worry no more about this place. I'll do my darndest to make sure it's run right in your name. So, off with you. Run along now. Wait. Jake's private signal, or frequency signal found. Can a Sam. Nice. So, I don't have to do anything here now. Like, they will completely, oh yeah, they're building up. They'll build the houses, build work, and they'll sign. He'll assign everybody. Listen to Jake's private frequency. I actually want to uh, hang around here and check things out. Oh, it looks like they actually built 
literal platforms so they can get up to things as well. Oh man, I like this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, everything is just going up like crazy now. Okay, let's listen to Jake and see what he's got to say. Um, Jake's frequency, private frequency, where is he at? I have a lot of frequencies. Uh, did I lose it? Um, I'm going to go over towards the, the building here. City plans available. Red Rocket Truck Stop. Some settlers were initially locked from the city plan to avoid interference with quest completion. Some settlements said, okay, so Sanctuary Hill. Can we, like, redesign places, though? All right, let's see if we get over here now. So in, oh, right here. <laughs> it's probably there the whole time. Hey! Hey, you're never gonna guess what I just got running. The com hub! You hear that? That's the sound of the Commonwealth suit. That didn't sound good. <laughs> well, I was gonna suggest you come and see this thing in action, but it seems the com up decided Explorer would be a better use of its time. Oh boy. You should still head on back. Fill me in on how things went with those folks. By the time you arrive, I should have the hub up and running again. Just need to replace those damn tubes. Calculating chance of success less than 5%. <laughs> That's enough out of you. That wasn't very helpful. This has been a pre-recorded message. Message repeats in three seconds. Okay, we're going to turn that off. Uh, so look at this. This is awesome. So do we benefit from... Like, are they going to build shops and everything? He said he's going to build... Like, everything's going to be... Oh, yeah, look at this. I don't know if these are homes or or what. Oh, garden plots. Okay, I just became in love with Sim Settlement. I didn't know that this was going to be completely like it's going to build on its own. Oh, recreational. Oh, can we do this? Can we play this? Doesn't look like I can select anything. I thought I had something there for a second, but ammo. Oh, that would have been that would have been fun. Oh wait, hold on. Activate. Oh, right, that's just the plot. That's really cool. Now, let's go ahead and drink. Um. So can we just like change the city plan anytime we want? Is that the is that the thing? Like if we, I know some. I, I when I was kind of playing around with this, I know that there was a city plan. I didn't know what it did. Um, I never looked into it. So I'm really interested to see if we could just like say, can you download city plans? Like if we, if like, is there like a, a possibility of like community created city plans? Is there something up there? There's something up there. Because what would be really cool <laughs> if you guys or any of you guys created a a city plan that I would include it in the game. Oh, look at this little hideout. I'd include it in my playthrough. Or I could feature it. Hey. Is this well sensing? So oh we got We've got incoming. Where, I don't know. I guess it's done. Idiot's incoming. <laughs> it's incoming. Oh my god. Oh no. She is stupid deadly. Actually, who is that? That's not old Paul. Is that just a settler? Oh, who are you? Excuse Ludwig. me. 
This hunt will make for a good story. I'm not much of a hunter. I can track with the best of them now. All right, I guess maybe that's Ludwig's place up there. Radiation, just what I ordered. Oh, wasted in the backpack increases wear overall character capacity by fifty. Nice. All right, we'll we'll take that. I didn't know we had a legendary over here. Oh, Ludwig, that's right. He's with Van Trapp. Uh, actually, we do have hey, some things the on other us. Other members often chide me for my lack of hunting experience. I'm sure that will change once I show them this. Uh, let's see here. Do you have any idea? Oh, okay. Maybe I don't. I don't have anything on me. I must have. Hopefully. Well, no need to hurry. Dropped him. Mutations are very slow to act, so we have time. Of course, history has a long lifespan, so we don't have forever. Yes, yes, yes. Not right now. Understood. Okay. Combat. Powerful ported combat rifle. Hmm. I do want to, at some point Locked in time... Tight. Actually, can I have Heather? Does she? Do, she does terminals, right? Hey. Yes. Yeah, she does terminals. Okay. I think I had that uh, screwed up once before. I was trying to open up a chest or a uh, not a chest, a safe. Thank you, <laughs> brain. <laughs> just stop. Um, why don't we check out this house here before we go talk to Jake? Or no, no, never mind. We're gonna go talk to Jake, and then we're gonna come down here and check out this house uh, with the two... I can't remember the Thompsons? Was it? I think that would be... Um, you'll see what they're all up to. Uh, Jake? Jake? You upstairs, bud? Ah, there he is. He's getting his chems on. Hey there. Oh, hey. I hope things went more smooth for you than they have for me. You take care of them folks? They all set up with ASAMs now? Um... Yeah, I took care of them. <laughs> it's not really... It, was, it wasn't really smooth. Um, because we had a... Well, actually, I shouldn't say that, because there was... We did convince them. So let's just say, yeah, we just took care of them. Yeah, I took care of them. Ah, good to hear. After our... Meeting with the gunners. I was a little spooked. I was thinking twice about this whole ASAM thing. Thanks for talking me around. Now, my turn to share some good news. I managed to get the comm hub running. Come over here, let me show you. I thought you busted it. Oh, those mannequins fall down, I guess. <laughs> they get reset once in a while. Down here, Jake. Oh, you're injured. Oh no, is Heather blocking Jake? Jake? Alright, I think he's coming down the stairs. I think. Oh, here he goes. Just just take your time. A few more parts when suddenly the darn thing just sprung to life. Guess I bypassed enough busted components. Whoa, Jake, where, where'd you going? <laughs> where are you at, bud? All right, we are really up close and personal with you. Oh, hey. you've done good work. We're not out of the woods just yet, but we are close. Now that the comm hub is actually running, I know the exact parts we need to get it fully repaired. If I could get this baby firing all cylinders again, it'll be perfect for what you'll be needing. I'm listening. With the hub fully functional, we could finally establish reliable communications between every single one of our settlements. Think about it. Near instant communication. Every settlement part of a networked interchange. If we had something like that, surprise attacks would be a thing of the past. Not even the gunners would be a worry no more. Plus, we'd have efficient division of labor, meaning faster settlement growth. 
Mm, interesting. Yeah, what's the catch? What's the catch? <laughs> yeah, always a catch, ain't there? Always. We're not quite at the settlement interchange stage just yet. First, we're gonna need some specialized components to fully repair this thing. That's where I'm gonna need your help. That is, if you're willing to do a little legwork. Yep. I am game. Sure. I'm game. Now that's the spirit I love to see. Here, I've already written a list. These locations are where we should be able to find the components we need. However, this ain't gonna be the kind of stuff you'll be able to grab yourself. The parts will need to be stripped out of the tech they're housed in. But don't worry, I got the solution. Mala! No. Get over here! <laughs> I believe you're familiar with our robot friend. Figured it was past time she had a name. Uh, where? Is it upstairs? And it's like stuck somewhere. <laughs> I I think I hear it. Oh no! Please don't be stuck. Please don't be stuck. Please don't be stuck. Good oh, there we go. See you again. <laughs> Mala here could take care of stripping out the components and deliver them back to me. And some of the Concord residents have volunteered to help as well. Oh, what cool. What you need to do is clear out a potential salvage site, scan it with an ASAM, and leave behind a locator beacon. Oh, that's all. How'd you come up with that name? Well, it seemed kind of rude just calling a robot all the time. And considering she has an official function now, I thought a name was in order. Mobile Analytic Load Bearing Automaton. Or Mala. And since the name sounds kind of feminine, I figured that makes you a girl robot. Protect and serve. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Sure, I can do that. Well, ain't you just a ray of sunshine? I've adapted Mala's transceiver unit so she can pick up and follow the beacon's signals. That way, the robot can get to and from the salvage site without wandering off and getting lost. Okay. Sounds good. I've started building some locator beacons we can use for the job. Now, I know they look a bit on the heavy side, and they are. Oh, but keep in no. mind, my first prototypes was twice as big and three times as heavy. So we're gonna have to carry this thing around with us. Uh, okay, you talked me into it. All right. Okay, a special version of the ASAM sensor for scanning things in the world. Drop it on the ground to have it scan the area for useful materials. Here's the first finished beacon. If you're a little weighed down, you can always unload some excess gear. I've updated your pit boy with the locations. It's up to you where you pick. You just need to clear out the area, scan it, place down the beacon at the marked coordinates, then head on back for the next beacon. Happy trails, and good luck. So it's basically one beacon at a time. Okay, let's take a look to see what the map, where he's actually having to send. So way down over here, which we have not gone and done anything yet. Drop test beacon. That actually we could do pretty easily. And then here's a third. How many are there? Oh, there's four. Five? Six? I'm guessing we don't... So, oh god, we got seven? <laughs> I don't think we have to do all of them. I think we just have to do... We just have to find the components that he needs. So maybe it's kind of like by luck? Okay. Let's uh, let's head on down here and go to this house. Kind of interested to meet... I think it's the Thompsons. But we will... Uh, what do we have for weight? 300. So we're just there. Is it under miscellaneous? Probably. Maybe, maybe it doesn't weigh anything. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, actually, it probably would be a good idea if we did know because we're going to have to drop it devices over right here. No, that's Heather's transponder. Um... Devices, ASIM sensor, weight one. Oh, prototype 10 weight. Oh, you're killing me. 
So we scan and then prototype locator beacon. Okay. Yeah, Thompson home. All right, let's check out the Thompsons. Let's uh, hear their backstory. Now, they were a little angry with me. Uh, we, we, we met with them last episode, and he, he I can't remember his name. I can't remember either name. Um, he's a hunter, and he was looking to kill the Deathclaw that we killed here in Concord. Oh, uh, it yep, is Ruby. You're having that robot that calls itself Mala around. See what they did with the roof joint here, Daddy? And maybe we could do that with ours. Ah, you might be onto something there, Rubes. Adam, bless you for getting your mom's brains as well as her beauty, darling. So they are Adam followers. All right, before we do anything, Hunters Association Just shoot the worries. <laughs> Hunter Association Quarry List Commonwealth. The Mat Run. 20 ton Myler Queen known to haunt the coast near uh, Salem. Which will probably be uh, probably a result of old time witchery. Statesman's de uh, deceased. Younger Deathclaw living in Concord has kept the town uh, scared of folks for some time. Hard to get it to come out of hiding. Seems to respond to large ruckus. Ah, super mutant behemoth apparently trouncing around East Boston. There ain't much over there but water. At least I never found anything. Was camping in the police station once and and thought I heard some noise over near the cherry bomb billboard. But telling the story makes me f uh, feel like those uh, Freddy cats talking about snow yetis. No Yeti existence unlikely. <laughs> Obviously not a real thing, though. There are there was that one time. That one time. The dragon existence unlikely. Reports of Scorch Beast Queen resides in the glowing sea have proven highly overrated. I've been in every nook and cranny, and the Scorch Beast just don't live in the Commonwealth. Old Sharp Tooth. An alpha death claw that, unlike the above, most definitely lives on the outskirts of the glowing sea. I have many, I have had many encounters with this horn killing machine. Luckily, no one uh, fatal. Windy existence. Windy existence unlikely. 40 foot tall windigo suspected to live at the foot of the mountains of the northeast. Unlike the snow yeti, they most definitely are real. But. And as with the scorch beef beast, it just aren't found here. Oh. Uh, if you're familiar with Fallout 76, you know some of those. Hey there. Hello. <clears throat> he doesn't have much to say. Okay. Oh, hello. We I guess we're gonna have so to sit down. You could make the time to come and see us. Dad, look who's come to visit. Oh, right. It's the hunter who stole my trophy. Hunting has been my life for so many years that I get a bit ornery when someone comes between me and my prey. Come on, tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? I've been hunting ever since I could hold a rifle. And up until recently, I've never had a problem bagging my kills. But lately, nothing seems to go my way. And your death claw back there was the straw that broke this camel's back. Ruby and I have been traveling these parts to find somewhere safe to build a home again after our last one was destroyed. <sighs> Super mutants found our settlement and attacked one night. Daddy came oh, to them gunners. before we were overwhelmed and we had to get the hell out of there. They destroyed everything. Oh, don't cry, sweetheart. You know what kills me. <sighs> anyway, Concord seemed like a nice and easily defensible place now that those raiders have been cleared out. Daddy has heard about a few more trophy animals around these parts and has promised me he will retire after he has bagged them. Isn't that right, Daddy? That's right, darling. <sighs> well, it was real nice of you coming to visit, and we hope to be able to show you some impressive kills of our own soon. <sighs> Thanks for listening to our tale. We haven't had much in the way of friends for quite a while now. This is a welcome change of pace. A and feel free to stay as long as you'd like. There's extra iguana soup if you're still hungry. It's Dad's favorite. Mmm. 
hunt for other trophy animals around the Commonwealth. So I can take a guana soup here. No, I, I don't because I'm overloaded currently. Can I look, take a look at their guns? No, so... Okay, um, I am going to... Hey, got a sec? Yes? Uh, actually, no. <laughs> I wanted to trade some stuff. Let us continue our why, why does this happen sometimes where I can trade and sometimes I can't? Hey. There we go. We can trade with her. Here, let's... Let's get rid of some of our ammo. We don't need that many rounds of... 10 mil. Now, is this better? Oh, this is way better. Now, I think we do have a legendary on here. Yeah, Ghoul Slayer. So we'll need to put that on this one as well. But no, we don't want to give that to her. Oh, I wonder if we can give her legendary gear. Hmm. Oh yeah, the sniper rifle. This one does use 308 rounds. EPS is quite a bit more, so it's probably more of an automatic instead of a, a bolt action. So this one we might want to uh, expand upon. Get rid of the laser rifle as well. Yes. Okay, that, that should be good. Why don't we check upstairs? Oh, he does have some... He does have a workbench. Ammo. Bunch of stuff. A bed that we could sleep in. It's not owned by anybody. Is this a... Oh, new book? No. Yeah, we can't take... We can sleep in that bed as well. Okay, we don't want to be stealing anything. Looks like there's nothing else that we can do up there, so... Really cool place. It looks like we do have... Oh! What this? Where's this go? Oh. Bathroom. Hun uh, hunting in the wastes. Okay. Alright, it looks like we need a little bit of food and water. Now... It said hunting. So I'm guessing there's going to be special animals around. Is that going to be under miscellaneous? Yeah, hunt for other trophy animals around Commonwealth. Heather's bleeding out marker. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. All right, so I think... Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to have to go and do this. I, I kind of want to stick with one... Uh, west. Meaning, stick with... Um some settlement stuff right now. What do you guys think? Probably hydrate it. Uh, we'll eat Salisbury steak. There we go. I think we've finished this up. I think it would be better instead of trying to get into other quest lines. Oh my god, what are we... Damn. Yo, who, who's shooting? <laughs> oh, here we go. Did she just literally jump in front of me? Another sniper rifle. Let's take that. I think we're I think we're good now. That was really weird. Just one raider. Okay, what we're going to do uh I think we're going to run back to the sanctuary and then we'll fast travel to Hangman's Alley and from there we'll go to that one place that's inside of um the city. Probably be the quickest way instead of having to run all the way down there. And I think I am going to stick with sanctu or the sorry, not sanctuary. We're going to stick with <laughs> um, trying to do the sim settlement stuff. 
and we'll we'll move on from sim settlement after some time um, once we kind of I, I think i think there's an end at some point in time but once we kind of have all the items and learn how to do some settlement if we can automate a lot of our settlements to just kind of like do the their own building i would rather do that maybe like save one or two for like we have sanctuary maybe we'll use that as kind of a playground for me to build um and, and kind of have fun but if we can have you know our settlements kind of build their own i, I would be happy with that we, what do you guys think like if they were just automated i mean i like building um but it takes a lot to do and i'm not really the smartest in terms of the best resources to put where <laughs> and i'm not a very good lay person to lay out things like things are starting to get kind of wonky here but um but while we're here i do want to take a look at a few things one is that gun i want to get that all kind of set up preston are you not happy with the water situation i i'm not either plus also the backpack so let's go ahead to hey, our armor and let's do that right away uh nope that's not what we want it we want the uh this one no legendary and then Wastelander's backpack. Canvas frame. Increase the wearer's overall carrying capacity by 60. Fresh. Oh. Fresh drink and rad restore periodically. If we can do this, we're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Gold Slayer. There we go. Wait, that's actually. So we less drinking <laughs> plus how much uh, much more carrying capacity do we have apparel clothing accessories no it's not accessories clothing this clothing 60 so it was 50 I think we went up to 60 was it and we don't have the negative for our agility hey 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 loving that so let's go ahead and we don't have any junk all right let's drop some stem packs we don't need this many i have been using more of them but we don't need so many let's just keep 10 of them on us uh red axe the same thing we don't need all those a dick doll like maybe one right Blood packs, don't need them. Cigarettes. We'll just keep a pack. Well, actually, we can give that. We, we have a pack right here. Mentats. We only need one of those. Buff out. Maybe a couple. Day Tripper will keep. Psycho. Actually, we should really start using Psycho in, in difficult fights. Yet, you know, I just don't care about the fast... get some stickers to open up as well keep a couple of those actually we don't need this many we need that many we're we're in trouble uh, we'll keep the water drop some of those get rid of the beer and then we'll go ahead and cook old war gourmet eight v8 oh v8 <laughs> uh the variety of uh, produce isn't what it used uh once was endurance and agility bonnie didn't get it at first <laughs> um let's see here one agility for one hour slow time for 15 seconds and so that uses a quantum Hmm. ADP for one minute as well. Make some more of these. Agility for one hour. More carrying capacity. Deception for one hour. Might as well just make the buttered 
corn. There we go. Cook it all up, then we have it, then we can eat it. I'm actually looking forward to not having to worry about water. I know everything's broken here. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about it right now. Um let's head on down to Hangman's Alley. How's uh 10 point plus? Ah, actually it's doing really well. No, I think we're doing just fine with our settlements so far. All right, Hangman's Alley. Where are we at here? Hangman's Alley. Bastard. Oh, we are... <laughs> we're, we're sleeping through this junk. And might as well sleep till morning anyhow. All right. You feel eel infection. Ah, oh, crap. Crap. Is it because we slept in a dirty bed? Do I need... I, I probably should make a better bed. Uh, medicine. Antibiotic. That's our last one. Okay, let's, let's... Get something to drink. Drinking all our water. We'll take a couple rads. Not a big deal. Okay, our first location is going to be across town near the Fens uh, Sheriff's Department in the Boston Public Library. I'm just so hungry all the time. Oh, we do. Oh, I have a pump here. I could have. Dang. That was my mistake. I, I didn't have to use that water. Oh, well. All right. Well, um, oh, let's actually bring that back out and reload. I like to keep the, the 10 mil out because we it's like if we waste the ammo, it's not a big deal. We have a ton of it on us or with us. And uh, I forgot to clean up Heather and Curie. Whoops. Oh. We've got... Oh, don't get in front of me. Oh, he's dead. Nope, I got him first. <laughs> uh, oh, we leveled up on top of that. Nice. Oh, he's way up there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you. Okay, let's just take him out. <laughs> Jeez, Jesus. You're just going crazy. Okay, let's see what they had. Uh, right. I'm, I'm going to try not to pick up everything, like all the meds, because... At some point in time, we'll get to them. I mean, we'll we'll find find more if we need to. Oh no! Build a settler. All right, we're getting close. Who's there? Oh, that's right there uh, on the rooftop. I think up there. Or maybe just right on the other side of there. I think we were going to go explore that at some point in time. Oh. That's going to wake him up. Oh, we get a legendary. He's dead. <laughs> One shot to the head. They're up top. I don't see them up top, and I don't want to walk out there too far. Oh, we got another legendary. Come on, hit him. Oh. You... He 
evolved. Last chance. Run or die. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right behind there. Wait till he pops up. Look out. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, that one's gone. We just got a legendary now. And the legendary's dead. So we have two legendaries there. Fantastic. Uh, we'll just make, <laughs> make sure we take care not to run into anything. Oh, this is one of those weapons. Supposed to be super powerful. 20% more damage. It only does 14? Excellent. So it's kind of like a laser current mod. It's got a ton of mods on it. So maybe it's like highly customizable. Maybe. Yeah, let's go see what the other the others had on them. One agility and perception. Okay. I should really be taking like accessories that we can sell. Man, I sure could use a drink about now. Do not drink too much, otherwise you cannot drive on the streets <laughs> or operate the end machine. Yuri. You are you're hilarious. Okay. Let's continue our wreck here. Oh, is that dead? No, that's definitely not dead. So we got two of them. Really need to get more 308 rounds. Oh, what is that? Constant. Close that up. All right, we're getting close, but we're actually getting close to... Diamond City as well. So we'll have patrols, which would be... Helping us survive as I can hear gunshots in the distance. Oh, does it, is it, it wants us to go in the library? Can we go check this out? <laughs> See what's going on here? Oh boy, got some rad roaches. Don't hit me. Oh, that was a headshot. What is going on? Are you... You're not a baddie. Who are you fighting? Anybody? <laughs> I don't see anybody here. What are they going after? Skellies. Uh, none of these were legendary, were they? No. Oh, what is this? Eddie Holotape. Listen. Message to Rodrigo Palama. Okay, my friend. I thought about it. And I've reached a decision on the Fallon's job. Your cut is exactly what you deserve. Zero dollars. No use. Zilch. You heard me right. You get uh, nothing. I am so tired today. Nothing. You get nothing. You're gonna like it. Yeah, we always get cigarettes all over the place. Everybody's a smoker back then, apparently. Precinct 8. Julian citing a riot. Logs. One photo taken at the scene, predicting, uh, depicting 
Mr. Julius standing atop overturned vehicle. Precinct 8 evidence cabinet A10. Facing sports jersey with text, We Beat New York. So just a bunch of evidence stuff. Winter, uh, winter holotape logs. Map updated. Holotape 4, an evidence locker. Uh, need to take police. South evidence, South Boston. Okay, so these are going to be more of hol where his locations are. Uh, Eddie Winters, hollow. Q, Publix uh, intoxication. Two times bottle, boot and rally. Bourbon, empty. So in the... In the cabinet, AO2. Now, I don't know if we can get to these cabinets at all. Unger. Larceny logs. Including credit card. Okay, so we got some more Eddie Winter locations when we need to find his stuff. Oh, here's another Mad Roach. All right. So, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to actually end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. That's a huge, huge help to the channel. You can hit that like button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are all amazing for hanging out with me today. Uh, if you guys uh, want to see more uh, and you're not subscribed, hit that bell notification. And don't forget to subscribe as well. I mean, that's important, right? You gotta, you gotta hit the <laughs> subscribe and we're gonna hit the bell notification. I think. I've never tried the other way. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think you guys again. Uh, if you wanna help support me, I do have a Patreon. Uh, thank you to all those that are, are supporting me. Um, and I do want to shout out one Patreon actually, and I uh, want to thank them for their additional contribution. And I believe it was Jonas. Oh my goodness. I have, um, here it is. Hold on. Jonas Larson. Thank you so much. Um, I will have that, um, edit it under the support, uh, for, for increasing your financial, uh, you know, donation to the channel to help produce better content. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you again. Um, I, I know I say every episode at the very end of my uh, gameplay, but I, I truly do mean it. You guys are um, helping this channel immensely, and it's because of you guys. So that's the reason why I keep on pushing through and, and creating out content, because I, 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 I enjoy it, and uh, I enjoy you guys um, enjoying my content. Enjoying, enjoying. It's like a paradox, right? <laughs> All right, guys, uh, it's getting late. I need to get this uh, edited and out to you guys, hopefully tomorrow, so you guys can uh, have another awesome uh, video. You guys have an amazing day, and we'll see you guys next time.